An aldehyde can undergo a type of reaction called oxidation. In this reaction, the aldehyde molecule is converted to a carboxylic acid. This happens um, because an oxygen atom just magically inserts itself right into this carbon-hydrogen bond right there. The, because this is an oxidation reaction, a lot of times the reaction is written in this form with a capital O in square brackets on top of the arrow, just indicating that there is an oxidation taking place. There are two actual reagents that can be used to perform this conversion. One of those reagents is known as Tollens reagent, so that's its common name. The chemicals that are used in Tollens reagent are Ag2O and NH4OH. So sometimes in an oxidation reaction where Tollens reagent is used, sometimes you'll see Tollens reagent, just the words written on the arrow, like I've done right here. And other times you'll see it written as the chemical formulas themselves written on or under the arrow. The other chemical that you can use to do this oxidation is K2Cr2O7. Now this particular reagent also oxidizes alcohols, which is a reaction that we've seen before, and we'll be reviewing it in this video. In this video, I have three examples of different oxidation of aldehyde reactions to give you a good opportunity to get practice with this. So here's our first aldehyde, and we've got two different oxidation reactions taking place. We wanna consider what product would be formed if we used the K2Cr2O7 reagent, and also we wanna consider what would we make if we used the Tollens reagent. So if we use the K2Cr2O7 reagent, it is going to perform this reaction right here where we just magically stick an oxygen atom in that carbon-hydrogen bond. And it is really important that you put the oxygen atom in the right spot, in the correct spot. So the oxygen atom is not going into the carbon-carbon bond, it's going into the carbon-hydrogen bond. And this is the product that we make. What if we were to use Tollens reagent? Well, Tollens reagent is going to do the exact same reaction. So if we're using Tollens reagent, we are going to be making the exact same product. There's no tricks here. Let's look at a couple more examples. Here's our next example. Now this is gonna get a little bit trickier because we have an aldehyde, but we also have an alcohol. And let's kind of slide back for a minute. Let's remember that the K2Cr2O7 reagent also oxidizes alcohols. So if we have this reagent present, we have to not only think about what it's gonna to do to the aldehyde, but also what is it gonna to do to the alcohol? So let's take a look at this right here. And I'm just gonna start, I'm gonna start by just redrawing the original aldehyde and we're just gonna modify its structure. So in terms of the aldehyde functional group, the K2Cr2O7 reagent is just going to stick an oxygen atom right there in that position. And then in terms of the alcohol, the K2Cr2O7 is also going to convert the alcohol to a carboxylic acid. So it's gonna take this uh, OH group, and it's just going to add a carbon-oxygen double bond to the carbon atom that's holding the OH group. Looks like that. Now, if we're using a Tollens reagent, Tollens reagent doesn't do anything to alcohols at all. It only affects aldehydes. That's the only functional group that it affects. So if we're using Tollens reagent, the alcohol group is going to be unchanged, unchanged, and the aldehyde is the only one that's altered. Here we have one final example. This has an alcohol, a ketone, and an aldehyde. Before we get started, ketones, what happens to them when they're being oxidized? Nothing. These guys do not get oxidized. So they are not going to be changed in, the ketone group is not going to be changed in this reaction. Let's, uh, I'm going to redraw the whole entire molecule without making any changes. And then we'll take a look at what's going to happen with Kr2O7. This reagent is going to modify the aldehyde by sticking an oxygen in that carbon-hydrogen bond. And it's also going to modify the alcohol by sticking a carbon-oxygen double bond adjacent. The Tollens reagent only works on aldehydes. So for the Tollens reagent reaction, we're not going to make any changes anywhere except for to the aldehyde group where we will be converting it to a carboxylic acid.